What's everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit since I have uploaded on this channel. There's been like nothing to talk about. I haven't uploaded one of these in a long time, but if you guys like these kind of videos, remember leave a like, subscribe, that notification bell, hit me up on Snapchat, add my socials in bio. So let's get in this. All right, so the hot stove is finally heating up. Um, so I do kind of want to talk about the trades that have happened. Um, I already did that one, did that one. I don't know if I talked about this one, but the Blues of... There's going to be a couple of trades. There was one big trade I do want to talk about. There wasn't much in the return. It literally just happened. I just saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, now I'm getting a video. Um, The Stars acquired Radik Fasca from the Stars for Future Considerations. Um, Matthew Joseph... And a third round pick in the 225 NHL draft. Blues acquired Matthew Joseph from the Senators. The Ducks acquired Brian Dumoulin from the Kraken for a fourth round pick in the 226 NHL draft. The Jan Yenik Utah Hockey Club acquires Igor Sokolov from the Senators for Jan Yenik. Um... Ducks acquire forward Robbie Fabry in the conditional fourth round pick in the 2025 NHL draft from the Detroit Red Wings for goalie Gabe Alexander. Oilers acquire Matthew Savoy from the Sabres for forwards Ryan McLeod and Tyler Tulio. Jets acquire Dylan Coughlin from the Kane for future considerations. <clears throat> Bordeaux traded and Jake Chason from the Oilers. Five for forward Robbie Javarte in a fourth round pick in 2025 NHL draft. Senators trade them to the Oilers. Um, Abs acquire goalie Kevin Mandelis in a seventh round pick in the 2026 NHL draft. From the Senators in a sixth round pick in 2026 NHL draft. Um, the Penguins acquire a third round pick. This happened the other day. Third round pick in the 2025 NFL, NHL draft, NFL, I don't know why I said NFL, NHL draft, and a second round pick in the 26 NHL draft from the Blues in, for a second round pick in the 2025 NHL draft, and a fifth round pick in the 2026 NHL draft, basically getting picks back and forth. And then the Penguins acquire forward Cody Glass from the Predators for forward Jordan Frasca. A third round pick in the 2025 NHL draft and a sixth round pick in the 2026 draft. Um, Oilers acquire forward Vasily Podzolkin from the Canucks for a fourth round pick in the 2025. Cody Ceci acquired San Jose Sharks acquire defenseman Cody Ceci in a third round pick in the 2025 NHL draft from the Edmonton Oilers for defenseman Ty Eberson. But the reason why I wanted to make this video is because today the Montreal Canadiens went out and they made a splash of a trade. That was all, I was all catching up on all the trades that have happened. But here's the one I wanted to make this video about. Patrick, the Montreal Canadiens acquired, they decided to literally right now go out and acquire forward Patrick Line from the... Blue Jackets for a second round pick in the 2026 NHL draft from the Columbus Blue Jackets for defenseman Jordan Harris. Okay, so you can see these two teams. I've never seen the Canadians and the Blue Jackets make a trade, first of all. Second of all, the I like this deal for the Canadians. I feel like for a while they've needed somebody. I mean, you add him to the Canadians. The Canadians roster. I mean, the Canadians are not that good. And they're probably not going to be that good. I mean, you have you add him to a roster of Josh Anderson, Joel Armia, um, Alex Barboule, Cole Caulfield, Kirby Dock, Christian Dvorak, Jared Davidson, Jake Evans. Uh, I don't care about that. Brendan Gallagher, who they I believe they should get rid of. Um, Alex Newhook. Who else? Nick Suzuki, Justin Barron, um, Mike Matheson, and then Sam Montenville, and a couple other goaltenders that they have. Um, I mean, there is some young talent here in Montreal, which I like, because I don't know how old Patrick Laine is. And this is a player that I've wanted the Penguins 
today. But, unfortunately, okay, he is only 26. And he's been in the league for a couple of seasons. This is only his... Sixteen, so seventeen. Be his. So seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 so this will be his eighth NHL season. He's going into his eighth season. He is only 26. He is still has a lot of time left in his uh in his NHL career. So this is I'm excited for this. I mean, and then on the other hand, on the Blue Jackets end, you have Adam Fintilli. They were the Blue Jackets have been shopping uh Line A for a while, trying to get rid of him. But if you look at the Blue Jackets um, team here, I mean, they probably had a lot of... They had they probably didn't have anywhere to put him. That's why they were shopping him. They have, like, Adam Fentilli, Trey fix Jordan Johnny Hockey, Boone Jenner, Sean Corrali. Um, who else is there? Where is he? Where is he? Yvonne Broverov, Damon Severson, Zach Werwenski. Ellis Merzlik and Zach Sachanka. Again, another team who they have a lot of un... They have a lot of young talent that's going to get better, and they will. I mean, this this probably doesn't really push... I mean, it's a big trade here in my... Um, from what I'm saying here. But, like, it's not going to... This, it kind of makes Montreal a little bit better than what I thought. I'm like, okay, the off-season's over. The uh, regular season is probably not even, it's like, what, today's the 19th. Less, we're less than two months away. We're like 58 or so days away from the regular season starting, which, by the way, we'll have a lot of stuff up leading up to the off the regular season starting in like September seventh. Um, but September in early first part of September, all of September up until uh opening night of either the eighth or Penguins opening night. I don't know. But when I'm still trying to figure that out. But I'm not gonna I don't have any not no spoilers here. But I again I do like this trade. Um, again, Patrick Laine is a really good player. I really like to see him in the Montreal Canadiens uniform. I am glad he is out of the division. Um, I'm just glad he's not with another team. Um, he, there is, again, I mean, they do have some veteran presence, so, like, he can follow guys like Brendan Gallagher, um, who's been there for a while, and a couple other guys that they have. Um, they used to have Carey Price, he retired, unfortunately, and then ever since when he retired, he was just absolutely, they just started to become garbage and started rebuilding and have now have been at the bottom of the league here. Well, they were pretty good in the, f uh, one year they made it all the way to the finals and lost, it was the second, first or second Lightning, uh, first time or sec first or second time the like, Lightning won back-to-back -back cups. They were part of that finals, and unfortunately, I didn't watch any of those games because I hate the lighting. But anyway, um, yeah, so again, I love this deal for the Canadians and for the Blue Jackets. I feel like the Blue Jacket, no team here is getting a big fleece, but we can also kind of like come back later in the season and be like, oh, Patrick Laine had a really good season, or just having a really good season. The Canadians got what they uh, got a really good player out of this in this deal. Um, if we want to visit the Patrick Line trade a little bit later. But last year, I don't know if he's a free agent either. But last year, Patrick Line on the season had with the Jackets, he only had he played he had nine points in 18 games and a plus minus a negative 10. He must have been 
He must have been hurt the most there. He must have missed about. He must have missed about 65 games due to injury. Good Lord. My gosh. But also then, yet again, at the end of the day, I do like this deal for the Blue Jackets and or the Montreal Canadiens. But yeah, if you guys like these kinds of videos, remember to leave a like, subscribe, the notification bell, hit me up on Snapchat, add my socials in bio. Also, I was not expecting to upload the video on this channel today at all whatsoever. But it's okay, things happen, and I'm excited for Patrick Laine to be in Montreal. I do kind of like, I have a little bit of a love for Montreal. My More my love is here in Pittsburgh with the Penguins. Um, but yeah, if you guys like these kinds of videos, remember to leave a like, subscribe to the notification bell, hit me up on Snapchat, add my socials on my bio, and I will see you guys all again for another video. All again soon for another video. Peace.